Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Your moon and rising signs might resonate with you better. We have a no. A no. Healer. Healer. This is a doctor or a surgeon. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Now, you don't have to be a doctor. You could just be a good listener here. You know, you might be supporting someone else here. There might be somebody else round about you here that needs your support at this moment in time. So let's have a look and see. It might be that you're a spiritual healer. You might realise you've got the gifts here. By all means, it might be that you want to go into the healing profession as a career. You don't have to be a doctor. You could be anything in the healing profession. Star card. The Seven of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles, Young Empress energy, beautiful energy there. The Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, overall central energy here. The Emperor, Aries energy, you could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. The High Priestess, the Magician, the Tower card. Now, there's been an upset here. There's been a tower moment. Now, it could be in any area of your life here. I have I have got pentacles. I've got the, the nine of pentacles. Now, she's the young empress. And the nine of pentacles is somebody who's independent-minded. So what's happened here is there's been a tower moment. And this can be any... any A tower moment is what you consider a tower moment to be. You can feel like the rug's been pulled from under your feet. But you're being released from this tower so that you can become independent... You can stand on your own two feet. You can gain your confidence back. You can uh, get your self-esteem back and you're able, you'll be able to make well-balanced decisions for yourself here. Okay, so you're a well-balanced person. That's what spirit is wanting you to be. Now, it's only natural and we have got the tower card here, at the, you know, and we've got the star card and these two cards follow each other in the tarot deck. So you're going to have to take time to heal from this. There's a healing process, but trust that this is a blessing in disguise. So it could be jobs that's lost. It could be, you know, relationships here. But you might want to go into a new industry. Now, this could also be someone round about you. It's affecting you. There could be somebody in your environment here that has had a tower moment. And it might be that they're turning to you to help them heal because you're a very they consider you to be a very well balanced person you make good decisions for yourself in life and when people look at you they know that you're well balanced so you're you've got confidence they respect you for what you're achieving in your life here and how you're going about it because this healing energy could be you helping someone else it could also be you helping yourself and having to move into new career options uh, you could be doing voluntary work of any kind spiritual work of any kind as well but this could go both ways so we don't want to be then the no here is to dwelling in this tower moment sorry i beg your pardon dwelling in this tower moment this has happened for a reason and it's to release you onto another path now it can be that you're going to have to listen to your intuition here you could be advising people about choices here you could be counseling there might be some counseling involved here this could be you, somebody being released from somebody who's very been very controlling as well. But whoever, whatever it is, they're seeing you as a very knowledgeable person. You're somebody with a lot of knowledge that could support them at this moment in time. I really feel for most of you here that you're supporting someone else in some shape or form. If there's been a tower moment for you, you might have to make choices. You might have to advise people on choices to make. But if you're going into a career of counselling, um, or you're being drawn down that path to do something you're passionate about in relation to people, now's the time to be doing it. Now, this could up cause a lot of upset, changing direction in career, changing, you know, how you're going about yourself here. Life as you know it, if, if you're choosing counselling or you're choosing to go into, even teaching helps people. If you're choosing a new career direction, it can cause an upheaval in your life. Of course it can. So you're listening to your intuition and you're choosing your path. If you're helping someone else, again, you're listening to your intuition when you're giving guidance or being that you're not telling them how to live, but you're advising them. 
showing them their options, that they need to be on a more constructive path of growth. So there's new goals here for everybody, whether it be someone else or whether it be for you. This is the perfect time to be manifesting new things. And the no here is, is connected, they're telling me, the no is connected to the tower moment where they're telling me that this was no longer what was right. So we need to come out of that energy or that place, that situation, that relationship, and we need to be manifesting new goals for ourselves. Or that's the kind of advice that the people um, would want to take up. A new time, understanding that this is a blessing in disguise and you're being released from something that no longer is going to stand the test of time. So, um, I'm just listening to what they're saying about this because they're trying to tell me something else. Right, okay. Now, some people, it could feel, this is not for everyone, but some people might need to seek refuge here because that this is, this could be quite a serious situation for some of you. And you might be seeking refuge with someone or in some other place. So you might be going to someone here that could help you and protect you, some of you. I don't, I, I've just got to say that because that's what they're telling me. I, it's not what I want to be saying. But for some of you, look, there's well-balanced help out there. There's people who can help and support you at this moment in time. That's what we're trying to say here. So it's time for a new path for you. It's time to manifest new goals, uh, whether it be somebody changing their career and making well-balanced decisions like I'm saying, or whether it be other people that are needing to get onto a new path completely. There is help there. People will be around to help you. Uh, this is about you getting your passion back and your mojo back. It's about making better choices about your career path or your life in general. Um, these choices will be better for you. What Spirit is saying here is do not, I'm getting a horrible feeling in my stomach when I speak about this. So there's a right nervousness about this reading. I can feel the nervousness about this reading. So for some people, this is major, um, but you will heal from this. There is hope and rejuvenation when you get out of this, when you're released and walk away from this. So don't, please see it as a blessing, whatever's came to light. It could be you, like I say, choosing a new path, taking control of your life and choosing to walk away from something you've been really, really stuck in. Stand it out there, it's coming now. I can hear them now. Standing on your own two feet to get your confidence back, your self-esteem back. So you could be healing from a very serious, quite situation. You're walking away here. You're becoming independently minded. So you're starting to see that you need to take control of something here and release yourself. Re release yourself from it. So that's what I was feeling earlier. There's a very nervous feeling in my stomach here. Uh, so I know this is not easy for some of you. So, you know, love, light and healing to those that this is this reading is resonating for in that way. Uh, don't fight against this. You can see he's got his, you know, you might have to stand your ground, like I say, speak up for yourself here. Don't fight against the tide. Don't fight against change uh, for some of you here either. Don't fight against this change. Because you're realising it needs to happen, you're actually standing your ground and speaking up and you're choosing better paths from yourself where there will be growth for you and things will start to improve immensely. You'll start to see the way forward. You'll start to feel passionate about life again through taking this opportunity and starting down this new path and releasing yourself here. See the bottom row here. Listen to your instinct. Release yourself from this tower that you're stuck in and set a new goal for yourself. So that, that is exactly what this reading is about. So I hope this helps. I'll give you a fairy message. I feel this is a very heavy energy. For others that are not trying to escape something here, this is people choosing a path of growth and setting new goals. But there's more to this reading than that. Look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you, you find will bring the insight you seek. Now, this is knowledge. It doesn't have to be a book. It could be advice. It could be advice. Seeking good advice will help you here as well. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.